They were already treating 500 patients a day at this Hatai field hospital that had sprung up after the February 6th earthquakes. They were already hearing the devastating stories of survivors. Only our floor was destroyed in the building. I was under the rubble for six hours. I lost my wife and little daughter. They were under the debris. We struggled to pull them out. Eventually, we got their bodies out and buried them. But even as life here was settling into a routine, there are even waiting rooms. Terror struck again on the 20th with the new earthquakes nearby. Frightened patients and their families cowered outside the tents. Ambulances raced out, fanning across Hatai province. Minutes later, new earthquake victims started pouring in, some in agony. Doctors sprang into action. When an earthquake hits, we just get ready immediately and start working with all our strength. Once we got past the initial shock of the earthquake, we already knew that patients were going to be brought in, and we started to prepare the tents. Among those who arrived, a woman, eight months pregnant and injured in the rush to escape her apartment building. A labor starts because of hormones, and of course stress triggers those hormones. This can also be the natural instinct of a baby to come to the world. Doctors delivered a baby girl, much to the relief of the mother's husband. We were very scared of the earthquake, but now, thank God, I'm so happy. All my fear is gone. Two weeks ago, Dr. Mehmet John delivered the first baby in this field hospital. Our pregnancy patients are nervous about having to give birth in these difficult conditions. We're trying to give them enough strength to make sure they feel that they're not alone. And after the birth takes place, they need motivation and support to hold on to life despite all the difficulties. After the latest quakes, we also saw foot and leg injuries everywhere, mostly from people falling while running. And we saw the bewilderment in faces. Psychologists are on duty here, but doctors say it could take as long as six months to figure out just how deep the mental scars will go. People are exhausted. They experienced a massive disaster. They lost their loved ones and their neighbors. We can guess how emotionally affected they might be, but it's too early to tell the permanent effects. The operation here is enormous and growing. Dozens of hospital beds and operating rooms. Organizers say every kind of medical care is available in these tents, from urgent care to checkups. For the most seriously hurt, there are helicopters waiting to take patients to more established hospitals. But after the quakes on the 20th, nearby hospital buildings that had been operating were evacuated. And this has become the go-to hospital for the region. It's our duty to be here and serve our people. We came here voluntarily and we feel happy as we help them. The tents will keep going up, the patients will keep coming in, the doctors will keep treating the wounded. May God bless them, they took such good care of her. And the survivors will keep giving thanks. Andy Rosden, TRT World, Hatay Province.